Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we are taking a look at a game called The Dwarf King. If you want to see our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, stick around here and we'll get playing. Alright, so Dwarf King is a trick-taking game. So let me slide these down a little bit. A trick-taking game where we are trying to win or not win tricks based on some of these tiles the crees that are coming out okay those are going to determine how we're going to score we're going to play through seven rounds and then whoever has the most points after all that is said and done is the winner okay so in a three-player game you're going to shuffle all the cards but you're going to remove a two and every round you're going to shuffle all the regular deck and put one special card in the deck the special deck has ones elevens and some other funky monsters in there there's like 13 or something cards i'm not sure and then you're going to deal them out to everybody. So there's two through ten, Jack, Queen, King, Ace, and then one special card. Could be two, could be eleven, could be something else. All right. Then what we're going to do is you're going to look at your cards. The cards are three suits, these three suits. A couple things are going to happen at the beginning here. You're going to look to see who has the five of red and the five of blue. Ooh, this player has a special card. We'll get into that. Um, so that player does not have it. It must be this player that has both. So they have the five of blue. They get to pick the quest, which are the tiles, and they get to lead the first trick. Okay. So they'll, they'll show their blue. Uh, they get to deal the quest. So what you do is you take the top quest and you pick either of these that you want. So four points for each three and four, or four points for each six and seven. So they'd look at their hand. See what they have going on. I think they're going to go with the fours. So this is the quest for the round. So we'll get rid of these. That's the quest. All right, right there. And then we're going to play. This player is also going to lead because they have the five red. And it says lead the first trick with any card. So they know they want to get threes and fours. They know that aces are the highest. So they can't get in the lead right quite yet. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to play a two. So they're going to play this two blue. Then we're just going to go this way. Then it's this player's turn. They have to follow suit, so they have to play a blue if they have it. They only have one blue, so they're going to play that. Then it comes to this player. They don't want to give them a three or a four, so they will give them a six. All right. So that's that. This player wins a the trick. They'll just tuck it over here. Then they get to lead. Okay, so then they pick a card that they get a lead. Let's see what the Puppeteer does. Has the same color as the previous card played, though its value is considered to be higher. So it's going to just mirror a card, which is pretty cool. Okay, so they're going to play this. They're going to try to get some cards. Then it'll come to me. I have to play green. I don't want to give them a three or a four, so I will give them a six. Then it'll go to this player. Do they have any green? Ooh, they have... They will give them a five. So then they win this trick. All right, so that's two. Again, no points, though, because we only care about threes and fours right now. Back to this player. They're going to keep going in green. Might not be smart, but we'll see. And then this player will play an eight green. Try not to give them threes or fours. This player has a king. So they will go ahead and play the king and they want to take it so they have now taken this trick and they will be the first leader okay and they're going to lead this king of blue so they're going to play the king of blue then it comes here um this player doesn't have a blue so they're going to take and dump off a nine of green you have to play the same color you have unless you don't have it then you can put whatever you want um, so blue, I will play my nine of blue because I don't want to give them any scoring cards. So they now have a second one and it's their lead again. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and they know that somebody has the queen of blue because no one played it. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to start out with some red. So let's play the two of red. So they're going to play red. This player is going to play king of red. And then this player will play the eight of red. So again, nobody's still got any points. 
this player wins that one. They will be first. They're going to keep going down the red lane, so they'll play the ace of red. So we still got to play red if we have it. They'll play the jack. And then this player will play, they have a five and a six. They'll play the five. So this player wins with the ace. Oh, and this player took the five of green, so they will lead the first trick next round. That's another special card. Okay, so they get to go first again. They'll keep going with the red. They'll do 10. This player doesn't have any. Ooh, they do have it. They'll play the queen. They thought they counted all that, but they missed out on the queen. This player only has a six. So the first, nope, still no scoring cards yet. Uh, so they get this one. And they will lead, they'll lead the queen of blue. They have thematic names like goblins and knights and stuff, but it's blue for me. Uh, and then they're going to play the seven. And then this player's got to play blue. They don't have any blue, so they're going to play this green. So queen of blue gets it. Still no scoring cards. This is usually how it goes. People are trying not to give up the scoring cards till the end. So we'll do jack of green. Um, they'll do a seven of green because they don't want to play the three that they have. And they will do a nine of red. So Jack of Green gets it. Again, no scoring card still. Uh, we'll do four of green. Probably not smart, but that's fine. So they'll do a three of green. And this player doesn't have any green, so they will throw their seven. And the four finally gets a scoring card. So let's keep that there so we know. And it's their lead. They will do a 10 of blue. They don't have it. They'll play the jack of blue. And this player is actually going to play the puppet, puppeteer, which makes this jack a little bit higher. So they will win that. Okay, and then they're going to play this four red. Ooh, they only have a three or four, so they're going to play this three. Oof. So they're going to win two scoring cards with a red. And then they'll play their last card, a three of red, and they win both of those. All right, so there you go. So that's the end of the round. Then you're going to look and see how the scoring worked out. So this player got one, got four points. This player got four, eight, 12, 16 points. Okay. Wait, there should be one more. Where's the four of green? Oh, here it is. So they got eight points, and they have 12 points. And that's how you're going to go. So you'd write that down on a sheet, separate the special card out because it can't stay in there. Get rid of this tile, bring these back down. So these are out of the game. And then you're going to shuffle all these up and do it all over again. And you're going to keep going until all seven of these tiles are gone. And whoever has the most points after all that is the winner. There is a breakdown of all the, the special cards that you start with and the cards that could come up in the deck. So we have a dragon, a mummy, Puppeteer, which you saw, and Excalibur. So there you go. That's kind of how you play the game. It's really easy. It's really simple, but it has a pretty cool vibe. But we'll get into more of that. If you want to watch the, the review, click the link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And as always, keep gaming.